Playing on the world tour is a total privilege. I understand that the Olympics is the next level of that and um, every athlete strives to meet this goal. So it's the culmination of everything I've worked for for my entire career. It's hugely important to me, to my family, and uh, also very important that I can help Josh get there. I think that would mean a lot to me as well. The fact that he is nearing the end of his career, I think, might add some pressure a little bit, but uh, I think there's already plenty of pressure to go around, and um, I think compiling any on top of that would be unnecessary. I think we, we both understand the gravity of the situation and how important qualifying for these Olympics are both for both of our careers and life moving forward. When you take it to a place where beach volleyball is perhaps the second most popular sport in the nation, there's an added drama to it. And I mean, beach volleyball has actually become quite a popular sport at the Olympics over the past, you know, few Olympics. They have total home advantage for sure, but yeah, I kind of like it. I mean, you know, <laughs> you know, silencing the crowd can be, you know, something in itself to get your own team fired up. It's... Marquise was a very famous Canadian Olympian who got our bronze medal. He was the one who I kind of you know, first saw playing, who was really one of the greatest players in the world. And he was a huge inspiration and had a huge impact on me and just made me strive to reach that level. One tournament, I think I brought home my accreditation. And I was like, oh, what am I gonna do this? this? You know what, maybe I'll keep it. It just grew and I sort of started to actively collect them. And, and for years I've accumulated a good amount of accreditations and hopefully I'll have Many, many more. <laughs>